was mine all the time too. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I just want to thank you all for your commitment to our community and to our school district. And I know that it's a thankless job sometimes. I know that many of us can come up with many conclusions without our full information. And I know that each of you love our kids and that you want the best for our kids. No doubt about that. I'm here to request that a mask choice resolution be made for our district. I know that's not easy to do. And I know that you answer to the Fresno County of Ed and the Fresno County Health Department and the state. And I know that every decision is connected to funding from the state. I do, I do understand that. I know that some districts are asking for local control from their county reps. I don't know how they go about doing that, but I know that some have started to do that. I know that that seems impossible. I know, I know it seems impossible, but I do believe in miracles. I believe that God can use you to help our kids. My request now for you as our representatives is to fight. Fight for our kids, fight and research and find loopholes, find other options. I'm asking for you to, to not just go with the status quo, whatever they say we do. Sometimes we do that, we're called to do that. But I feel like we've come to a place where we need to fight. Our kids need us to fight. They need us to stand up for them and what, we will, what, what will we say to them in years to come when they ask, did you fight for me? Did you try? If we don't stand up now for them, how will we answer that question? There's a verse in Isaiah 11:2 that says, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. So I am praying for that that wisdom and that understanding, counsel, might, and knowledge to be over each of you. I'm praying for godly strategies to come upon you and for the boldness and the courage to act. Just to fill you in on the results of COVID for kids age zero to 17 per the CDC today when I went, the survival, the, um, sur I can't say that word very well, survivability rate for them says 100%. That's literally what it says online. Personally speaking, four out of six of my own grandkids had COVID. It lasted a day, maybe two, for one of them. I know that people worry about kids transferring it to their loved ones. Two kids in one family had COVID and the parents never got it. My grandkids said that having the flu for them or a bad cold was much worse. Really? Okay. than what they had experienced. I know that may not be the case for others, but that's my story. Some of the harmful effects, I'm gonna skip that part because you know that there's a lot of harmful ex um, effects of its shortness of breath, fear, stress causes panic, headaches, fatigue, um, decreased cognitive performance, and especially for kids, lack of access to lip reading and nonverbal cues that are essential to healthy psychosocial development. Do I need to stop? Or okay. can I finish? I think we might only have one other person to speak, so go ahead, as long as we stay within our 30 minutes. Okay, obviously I'm not a doctor or a specialist, but I have experienced mask wearing myself, which tonight, and in my kids and grandkids, and I have seen the anxiety and the panic and the shortness of breath and the lack of concentration and withdrawal, to name a few, and the lack of motivation as well. So I'm just asking, please, for the sake of our kids and our teachers and administrators, please fight for a way out of this. This is what I'm asking for at the least. Mask choice. Parents know their kids better than anyone, and they know how their masks affect them. No masks outside and no masks when seated three feet apart. And then just a real quick thing after that to change the subject. I'm also requesting that all teachers and staff be reminded and ask, asked to refrain from any political opinions and medical persuasions over our students. 
when I was a teacher, it was made very clear that we were to keep our opinions to ourselves. It's the parents' job to teach that. Our kids have gone through enough these last one and a half years, and we don't need them under any more pressure in our schools. We need them to know that they are in a safe place to learn the subjects that they've missed through the last couple of years. Again, I say thank you. I really do appreciate your hard work. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Shelley.